Today's the fifth. It's already Tuesday. Somebody is looking for him. I just get, I don't even know how to type this right. <laughs> Thoughts. Cause she brought up the whole somebody going to someone else's DMs to steal their followers or what? Is that what Kayla was worried about? Mm. Why is Caitlin hiding the bottom of her face? She protested. She's like. And then she moves the confession. Kayla. Oh, and then she goes back to the protest and by hiding her face. Hmm. Kayla, maybe she's thinking about something in an inadvertently way as she's doing the whole, well, if they're going to see my face on my show, my eyes, but nothing away. Mm. 
that shows a lot about. Oh, she did it again. Oh, she did. <laughs> huh? The last confessor is some axe, huh? <laughs> what? Wait, did it turn on or did it turn on? Oh my god. These headsets. Not have any alt. I'm not that crazy anymore. Also, that huh? was like Dude, uh, dang it, I missed it. Years ago. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you stop. You really cannot, okay? You, you just can't. Oh, uh, what? Huh? <laughs> Move on. Next one. Uh, feel alone, but I'm not alone, and there's people out there for me. Is it wrong to be scared of love again? Any advice? If she's, okay, if, if you have the habit Bella? of deep like diving onto some your ex's, partner, one, but not ex's this one. partner, like, but what? They're not in the picture. Oh, but okay, I guess you like the art. Why are you guys scared of love? Why? Okay, I think you're just hurting yourself because love is so amazing and so fun. Why? You know? uh, but, but they oh, are in yeah, the so picture. Yeah. Why? Where is Sarah? The boyfriend, old partner. What are your thoughts on the friend zone? What happened to me? <laughs> I said this like a million times in the street. If you have to convince them to want to be romantically into you, like sexually attracted to you, they're not the one. Like imagine having to convince someone like, yeah, I'm actually really attracted. Do you see? That's so embarrassing. No, that's fucking embarrassing. If they see you as a friend, you're a friend, that's it. It's not, you shouldn't have to convince anyone that. I've shouldn't jerked off faster than the Q time offense. for League of Legends. What is the Q time for League of Legends? I don't know. <laughs> IDK. I don't know. Have, ooh, would you have six kids or none? Try to answer. For me, I don't have none. I think six is way too many. And you can't even, like, give them all attention. No, Kim Pecky, I have five stack in Valor. I really thought it was six hours sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I was speaking to a girl that I had a bad heart. reaction to a picture of her friend, no photo, and she started giving me dead replies, so I left it, but I'm still interested, what should I do, and if I should try again. That could be the five to six kids. What does that mean? Because I need some more context, right? Like, what heart. do you mean bad reaction? The biggest heart. To, like, a selfie? Like, you just, like, didn't, like, hype her up enough, I guess? Is that what it means? Um, I think you can still save it. Can you? Okay, if she likes huh? you enough, I was speaking to a girl that had a bad reaction right. to a picture she sent. So I gave like a dead reply, so I left it, but... Then you can't. I don't know, just like... Just huh? Again. I don't know what... Dude, I don't know what Miss that you, is. Miss you, Missy whatever this is. I don't know. Currently on the third round, almost shooting blank. Thanks for the... Wa what? <laughs> just recently got a relationship. <laughs> Before we broke up, she asked me if I found other people attractive. Not even a week has passed, and it looks like she found someone else. Ooh. Ouch. I was told that she was being friendly and sitting close. Yeah, she tells me she's surrounded by good friends and her happiness for herself. Later on, we aren't friends on Instagram anymore, and the same guy I asked just about is in our comments on our Finsta. Cold world out there. Well, here's the thing, right? She's single now, so she can do whatever she wants. So why does this matter? Obviously, it hurts you, I understand, but, like, she's allowed to, you know? She's not cheating. They broke up. Yeah, that part. Streamer in chat. After three and a half years in a toxic relationship, we finally call it quits. Now, after a couple of months, I meet someone healthy, extremely compatible, and start going out before she moves away for her career. So we end it, but promise to keep respect and wait. If it's true, we come back together. This is only the old ex. Bro, well, last confessor, just so move on, man. So we completely Why reform. Are they doing, like, not toxic. We click right back to the board. Who do I choose? 
Yeah, I don't ever think to go back to your ex. I think once you break up with someone, it's over, right? You guys broke up for a reason. I think people can change, and that person was obviously never for you in the first place. Kaylee, do you think um, I would I ever think go for the new girl. I don't think get back know. with an ex? <laughs> uh, if you even have, like, a thought of going for someone else, that's all fair to the new girl, you know? Because I feel like once you like me, you should not like anyone else. And the fact that you're thinking about picking someone over me, honestly, just plays her, you know? So I think you should pick neither. Because you're not even into that new girl that much. Yeah, just drop both. Start over. <laughs> I came in my mouth and That's my, why my girlfriend's mouth because she used to like it. She also spits on my face naked. It's it's better to have three wives. My girl's be my girl best friend asked if I ever thought about her when I jerked off. What? I answered honestly, yes, what? She ghosted me for a like, year and act like we were cool. These social constructs. Why would your friend even ask you that? That's like a weird. People question. holding on to. Never asked a guy friend. It's ever. like, well, you know what? In the twenty first century, let me, let me just answer. shatter some. Wait, y'all go answer. Y'all go. You know what traditions are? You go work, I think. Traditions are I the wishes answer. of dead people. Yeah. And so. Okay. <laughs> so let me break reason. some social norms. But also, chat, sometimes it's fine to lie. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you at work? What's wrong? No, no, nothing. I'm just curious if you're at work. No. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, have you ever thought about me when you jerked off? No. <laughs> okay, so I didn't know you were sleeping. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, that deadpan reply. Love you. Goodbye. K oh, Kaylin. I'm so excited. Are you sleepy? I didn't know. I woke up from that. Fuck. I remember Emo's crazy. I got mad at Yaga. I was taking a good ass nap, right? I hear my phone fucking virus. So Yaga called me. I got so pissed. I was like, you woke me up. I just did it. I do it to him all the time. But anyways, yeah. He's. You think he's lying? Kaylin. He didn't, no, he's not. He didn't say love back. Oh, if you think he's lying, you're projecting then. Because if you think he's lying, that means you have jerked off to your friends who are girls. Okay, yeah, let me ask chat, actually. Have you guys ever jerked off to your friend who's a girl? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, <gasps> he said yes? Did Yaga John. say he love John, back, wait, though? I do see it differently now. <laughs> Did Yaga say he love back, though? That's so like, what? <laughs> Damn, you did Damn. too? Caitlin. Oh my god. Caitlin. I, I don't think I can I can't even talk. I'm just so frustrated. Like, Yaga didn't say. I guess I don't know. Caitlin like, said, I love you, Yaga. And then he just like I hung so up. so bad. No, no, friends have been on the phone. I'm a platonic friend. Never had sex. Never even like kids. Never even like hugged. Like, you know what I mean? Caitlin deserves oh better. Caitlin can't be talking so to a dude on the phone. Like, to me? He's going to sleep. And she's like, I love you. And then the other I dude it, didn't even say girl, it back. She, she's like holding have? on to Yaga. That yeah. means they're not my friends then. Lazy, thank you for 23 months. Thank you. No, they haven't. What's happening? No, they haven't. I'm married and still watch you and your such disgusting topics team would care about. I'm you know, married and still watch you and your such disgusting topics. I think they're like in their mid 20s and so not late 20s. Really uh, do you ever get tired of being a horny teen's guidance counselor? Honestly, I don't even feel like you guys are teens. I feel like we're just talking about, like, fun topics, you know? I don't even see it like that. I don't know what the confession is talking John, about. John, you're older? You're younger than me? John Sierra? Well, I did not know that. I thought you were older. I'm older than you. <laughs> I have a lot of money, but a lot of people to take care of, overwhelmed, and I'm at the proverbial, proverbial, I can talk, proverbial huh? end of a cliff. Oh, Nothing well, shoot, recover. Nothing is helping me feel better. Advice? Okay. You know what's crazy? Maybe because I'm older, I'm assuming you guys are older too, you know? No, you guys are in your 20s. You guys are in the 20 range for sure, though. Yeah. Ooh, oh my god, what a good question. Do you think being a streamer is stopping you from finding someone who will want to date you? Ooh, she's. Oh, yes. oh, I get the I question. Mean, I think so, yeah. So it's really, I don't want to even date someone that's a streamer, to be honest. I'd rather date someone that doesn't even go on Twitch. And just like has her own life outside of Twitter. I, I get I the question. 
no offense. By streaming, are you so, yeah, but, like, taking yourself out of the dating pool? Normal people who are okay with like, yeah, like how are we gonna dick? Uh, my favorite dick size is, you know what I mean? I feel like what I say is kind of like extreme. Most people are not okay with that, you know, which is like mm. valid. I don't blame them. So yeah, I think it's a yes. It's fine though. I get the question. Streaming, and also, um, I get banned off every dating app because I think I'm catfish. So I can't even use like Tinder, Hinge, whatever. I get instant banned. So yeah, it's fine though. I don't need a boyfriend. I have chat. I have Twitch, you know? To be honest, I'd actually rather be streamer making money than not streamer not making as much money. So I guess I'm picking the bag over a man. Are you banned? No, I told the story a bunch of times. I paid $30 for fucking Hinge, right? Down bad. I got matched with like this cutest like doctor. He's like on EE, whatever, whatever. Try to reply to his DM banned. Okay. For being selfish. No, it was me though. It was actually me. Do you think it's weird or wrong to have a preference for people? I can't deny I have a thing for Asian women. Bro, another one of these um, dumb. Oh my wait, god, this another it's one. Like, no, weird, it's like a preference, like, god damn. It's like a preference only because of their race or culture or ethnicity. You know what I mean? Like, I only like you because you're Asian and I watch anime and this. I thing. hope that but dude. Is weird, right? If it's fine, Asian doesn't ever get thing. married. I'm sorry, man. Some dudes just. Some dudes are just trash. And it's also, just, we only have God, like five man. more, so in case you want to submit a confession, uh, please submit now. It's in the pin message. No, I agree. I think racial preference is weird. But people call me a hypocrite, right? Because I how only did... like Asian men. Okay, I don't say only. I usually lean Listen towards to my Asian men. Like, I'm, is that weird? Is that weird of me? Like, I'm Asian myself, obviously, the right? Caitlin only dates so Asian I don't men? think I'm like, being weird about it. And I don't want to date them because I just find them attractive. Like, it's my type, you know? Oh, uh, wait. So, hopefully I'm not, like, weird for that. You're Asian? Yes. I don't know. I think being in an open marriage and the freedom has brought us much, much closer emotionally. We've been together for 10 plus years, and the experience we had together are unforgettable. I mean, it works for you too, whatever, you know? But me, I can never do an open marriage. Wow. Why have I seen that like comment my, uh, before? Family at Thanksgiving, me asking these questions. Have you ever had a serious relationship? Yes. Ever been in love with someone? Yes. Do you want children? Not sure. Marriage? Yes. Okay. I told myself when I was, uh, how old? Okay, I was like in high school. I was like, yeah, by the time I'm like 21, I'll probably be engaged. Probably married by 23. Have my first kid at 26. Second kid at 29. That was like my high school plan. Obviously, that didn't happen. Thank God it didn't happen. Caitlin, yeah. I didn't like high school, like that, no? Um, I think my goal for now, obviously, I would love to be in the front sure. 30. Um, how old am I? Meet a guy. I have like seven years, you know, I have so much time. But if I don't get married by 30, at least by 32, you know? You'll find a one. Please? One hey, I, I always ask Chad this question. You guys want to be married? You guys want marriage? He has no time. I have so much time. Yeah, time. You'll find a one. one. You guys want to be married, right? I have three. How much yeah. Time? I have three. Do mine. <laughs> Wait, okay, so my plan, because I want to be married for 30, I have three and a half years, right? I want to yeah, be, be wise. Like dating before. someone for three years before I get engaged, because I feel like I need some more time to be sure, because I don't get divorced ever, hopefully. Oh my god, I need to meet someone in the next six months. That's why me and Yaga do have a marriage contract. I told him if I'm like 32 and I'm married, we're just going to get married for legal. He'll have to send a prenup, and I can cheat. But like, Caitlyn deserves up. better because she just called Yaka and she says, I love you. Yeah, and the dude so just like hung up on her. Better find someone like, now. What? <laughs> I work in engineering and it has longevity, but I want to take a risk. What made you overcome a stable career when you have a better <laughs> chance or respect of your age from your streaming or other endeavors? Um, like I said, I play it very safe, right? Uh, I don't take risks, to be honest. I didn't even quit my job for a full year before I did full time streaming. If I did not think streaming was stable enough, I would have never done this full time. So obviously I know it, for me it's stable, right? Even though every month is very different. Um, I guess I do worry sometimes like, okay, once I'm done streaming, however old I am, my resume gap will be so large. Even now, the two year gap, I think in my resume, three years almost now. Yeah, three years now. Um, whatever, I'll be fine, you know? 
I believe in my skills, I can always get a job whenever. Me being delusional, I don't know. Do you regret it? Hell no. I regret not quitting my job earlier. Um, put that you're a streamer in your resume. Invest? Oh my god, I don't even want to invest. I've lost so much money in stocks. Ever since my friend at the time told me to buy this stupid ass meme stock I lost $20,000 in. Uh, I'm never investing again. I'm still down on Ethereum. I do have an accountant, but I only contact my accountant during like tax season. Never during like any other time. Maybe I need a better one, I don't know. Will you open an OF? No. What's Craig doing? In my Google Form document, he's probably on um, a surgeon table cutting people open. Or he's probably um, in his like office, like really stressed from work, opening up um, Adobe or Microsoft Office or whatever people use. Like stress, you know? I can help him. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not on fucking Twitch. <laughs> Ooh, how much do you man this how is, much do you uh... want your man to make? Yeah, he's like on Excel typing numbers or something. Mm, well, why is there a number? It should be like infinite, no? <laughs> okay, realistically, I would never not date someone for their income because I have enough for both of us. But ideally, you would have to make at least like 500k, you know? That'd be perfect. So that way I don't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm definitely not rich at all. Not. Rich. That means Caitlyn made two hundred fifty k. Yeah, hundred thousand. That'd be nice. Just that go that work. means that means Caitlyn made two hundred fifty k because uh, she said five hundred k. Even if your income because she was wants like, her income and his income to match. Sixty k. That's a date. It's fine. Even like thirty k. <laughs> <Next. laughs> she would not. <laughs> I would though. I knew. It. Really? Okay. Really? All Prove me wrong. I swear on my life, all of them I've dated have been broke. All of them. Broke as in like, well, the, the one I always talk about was literally in debt. You know, to this day, to the, this, we broke up like what? Oh, really? Really? Oh, Prove me wrong. I still get a date. I still get a date. I'm gonna find it. I don't know what it is. Then you gave right Can you use my number? <laughs> is it called Bridget? Yes, it's called Bridget. Uh, I don't want to show it, but there's, you see that? All these texts are saying blank. We want to remind you that Bridget's $55 advance will be auto repaid on this date. He uses my number for money loaning out. We broke up three years ago. And I actually did contact the app. I was like, this guy used my number. Like, this is not me. And he said like, well, it's like banking and stuff are attached to it. Just like ignore the text. Okay. Anyways, yeah. So like I said, all of my events are really broke. And I still date them, right? See? Yeah. I have really low standards, though, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, okay, I guess I could block the number. There, There's multiple numbers, though. If he doesn't pay for a while, they text you on a different number. Like, the um, payment, like, uh, what's it called? Overdraft, I guess? <laughs> They'll text you on a different number, okay? Why did Kate Yeah, I actually just keep it so I can, like, kind of keep tabs on how much he's taking out. She has low standards. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> she deserves better. I want to read this one. No, it's too long, sorry. A lot of my friends have been questioning my relationship with my friends, your friends' oh, benefits, and I'm telling people I low key <laughs> want to get them out of my business. Then tell them, like, stay out of my business, you know? Just you be direct. Don't understand. Darn, ET wants to spoil me? Do it right now, then prove it. <laughs> Would you go out with someone if they approached you in real life, but they were one of your foot stops? I don't want to say it it's because of my influence, how you guys act. Uh, okay. Caitlin, <laughs> I'm not the typing. I'm like, folding hey, clothes. Are you Caitlin? Instantly, they're a viewer. I'm going to treat them like a viewer, you know? But if they were like, hey, I'm blank, whatever, whatever. I think they're attractive, whatever. And then afterwards, like, yeah, by the way, I think I've seen you on Twitch. It's already too late at that point, right? It's too late. So you cannot introduce yourself as my viewer I guess because otherwise I wouldn't even give you a chance but I don't want to encourage that kind of if you meet me though just let me know you're a viewer okay just tell me <laughs> when I was 19 I met a girl who was 18 and 
was at an 18 over club and she came back to my place we hooked up and two weeks later she posted an 18 year old birthday post on instagram she showed me a fake id and everything instantly blocked her made me so confused and upset oh i actually heard a story like this i don't know if it's real either it's from reddit once again it's on tiktok okay basically a guy who was like in his early 20s met a girl who was like what 19 on tinder and then they got pulled over by the police because they were like doing shit in the car and the police asked for both their ids guy gives his the girl it turns out she's like underage i forgot what happened that's all i remember <laughs> but what do you guys think about that yes i learned everything from tiktok okay i watch a lot of tiktok so like should he be in trouble but she was the one that said on the app like oh i'm 19 you know maybe he went to jail i don't know in my opinion even though no she I lied like, someone's, like not 19 in like, terms of like, much younger liability she lied about her like age it's on the in jail because like you were lied to you know like they lied they deceived you about their age that's why i feel like he shouldn't be in trouble like imagine you're dating guy right lying, and like, the guy didn't messy. tell you oh he's married yeah. he has kids he's lying to you kind of messy. so where's the liability the person that lied but yeah so i don't blame you I would woman is lying the and the you. boyfriend finds out what's the liability of the woman that's lying <sighs> next one too long I, 27 female, have a friend with benefits I've been seeing for about four months. He's like my type 100%, but he actively uses coke and has a felony charge. Uh, should I continue seeing him? Because, girl, it's good. <laughs> or do I cut it off? He sounds crazy. What it is, though. Well, how good is it, though? Uh, no, okay. To be honest, uh, I've dated some... I don't say crazy, but like some... Out there men myself. It does it and trust it gets so messy it's not even worth it because like what if something bad happens like something like, what if you guys start fighting right you never know like what if he tries to get after you kill you you know become violent towards you i would say there's no dick worth that i would get out i would leave this is not kiri nona by the way it's not her my girlfriend broke up with me about six weeks ago and i found out recently she went back to her ex relationship which i still can't get over once again she broke up with you, it's over, not even together, move on. Is it true that the first time you met Jason Weenie in your life, you were super shy? No, uh -huh. you wanna know what happened? My first met Jason, I didn't recognize him, first of all. And then, we were having problems, well, well, he called me a bitch, like, in my DM, like, I don't wanna talk to him. I told him, Jason, I don't talk to you. I was trying to avoid him. But then I was like, it's fine, we moved on. But yeah, he tells the story differently, I don't think he told the full story. Yeah, I did not wanna speak to him, to be honest. But this was like two years ago, so it's all good. <laughs> We're fine now, obviously. I, 36 male, was... I this. Was banged this very damaged. I wrote it that you call her damage when you're an older man, like, are wearing a girl, but anyways. Uh, now 18-year-old... Don't... Oh, wait, I don't want to read this one. Don't want to read this one. Should I read it? I don't even know. I'm scared. Junkie, dealer, e-girl, and took her to electronic music parties and shit. But then she ended up going crazy on stuff and killing her grandma with a knife and she was all over the news and people were like, he wasn't your girlfriend? I don't be associated with that. I was just banging her. Most recently, a bunch of her nudes leaked and I'm in them and I'm stressing out that the media will get a hold of them and the cycle will repeat. Yeah, I think this is also from Reddit and I think this is not a real story. I'm gonna say this is fake. I don't know why. Okay. The girl I'm dating went on a field trip to New York and got her train ran on her by the basketball team. I really love her. I don't know what to do. Any advice? She got hit by a train? You should be in the hospital with her, no? Oh my god, you're such a shitty ass boyfriend. You should be in the hospital with her. She got hit by a fucking train. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boyfriend. I hope she wins better. She went for 15 <laughs> minutes. If I was ran through oh, by boy. a train, you better be on my side, you know? Yeah. My girlfriend is a kleptomaniac. She's usually honest with me. When steals, I give her my honest response. It still gives me the ick and a little anxiety too. Especially when it's alcohol. What should I do? It's only her. It's her only red flag, honestly. I'll say I'm trolling. I'm trolling, chat. Uh, I don't know. I personally could not date a klepto. I feel like that's really. I mean, it's like a mental illness, is it? I know it's like deeper than the stealing, right? Like there's some emotional. Thing attached to it, I'm sure, but yeah, I can't personally date one. Uh 
uh, either tell her she needs to go oh, to the my therapist, I guess, and work on it, or yeah, just you give break the up. right like, psychiatrist like, a deal breaker. And help. You know, yeah. My friend bullied me to break up with my ex girlfriend. They said she was too ugly and controlling to me, but I still feel bad for breaking her heart. Why do you guys listen to your friends that much? Why do you guys care if your friends find your girlfriend attractive? Okay, I have a question, I guess. Uh, let's say huh? you find this girl is cute, you think she's really cute, whatever, you like her a lot, but your friends think she's ugly. Would you drop her because of your friends? Hopefully the answer is no, right? I do not. <laughs> I, I don't I care one about one my homeboys. You guys don't know, yeah? I don't know why I asked this, because low-key... <laughs> Huh? If my friends find the guy I'm talking to ugly, I actually might see him differently. Like, when I drop him. Damn. Like, you guys think he's ugly? Am I Damn. blind? You know, I would question myself, not gonna lie. But I wouldn't drop him. <laughs> but I think it's because I seek public approval a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't. Kaylin. But I would definitely like question myself. Kaylin. But yeah, it's your own fault for looking to your friends. Past. You weren't the one dating her. Why do you care? You know? How was high school life? I actually hated high school. I'm happy I'm not out of high school. Yeah. I'm happy I'm out of high school. <laughs> I'm in college, I'm not gonna lie. Kaylin, but yeah, high school is not it. Has to come from at within, all. not from without. So yeah. Okay, I can't also, look I for validation. If you want to submit more than one, now is your time. By the way, my boyfriend I've been dating for seven years. He told me he he told me to get gang bangs while he watches. Should I be concerned? I didn't know my boyfriend was a cuck till recently, but I kind of like the idea. You don't like his... Mm. I'll, ex I'll explain why. Okay, I mean, you guys are... I'll explain, explain why. Is he a red flag? Uh, in high oh, school. Is a red flag? Like, why would you want your fucking I was in love. Uh, girlfriend at the time Maybe was also in love. Fun. But only That's her fun. father liked me, but her mother hated me. So if you look at it like the validation from something else, but it's not coming from you... Then it's like not working, you know what I mean? Like, like me and my girl at the time in high school, uh, we dated like two and a half years. You know, junior prom, senior prom. But her father liked me, but her mother hated me. So for her, it was always about her love for me and my love for her at the time, and not some sort of outside validation. But I did appreciate the fact that her father liked me. Like I had him on my side, like cool dude. And actually, him being Air Force and also my family being military influenced me to go into the Air Force. Because I respected her father that much. You know what I mean? Like, well, my family has served in the military. I'm ranting. You know, my grandfather served in the army. My mother served in the army. My brother served in the army. Aunts, uncles, cousins all served in various forms of military. Especially my grandfather serving in the military. And then my ex now, but then girlfriend in high school, he said her father being a command master sergeant in the Air Force. And meeting, meeting a command master sergeant in the Air Force, someone who is like kind of like of the people from the enlisted ranks, rising up to the highest rank of the enlisted ranks is such a, um, a beloved role because that means your peers around you have elevated you to a position to where they want you to lead. So when you're a command master sergeant, it is of the utmost respect in the Air Force um, because you have only gotten there by helping and being the teams that are around you, the teams that have supported you, the teams that have helped you along the way. So my ex at the time, we're in love, but so it's the whole thing, like she didn't allow – her mother to influence whether or not she wanted to date me because at the time my girlfriend in high school we both loved each other but then she also loved it I loved and she loved the appreciation and the validation from her father too so I think it kind of evened out but but yeah you can't just have like Kaylin saying she's dating someone but three of your girlfriends can't tell you whether or not you should date that dude only like you should know whether or not you date that dude and then your girlfriend should love you if you all love you you know what I mean like if if Kaylin loves this other dude if she's dating that dude that loving bond should be all that matters not some other outside girlfriend should be accepting, but not trying to, like, degrade her boyfriend being, oh, man, he's ugly, you should be with him. Like, that's fucked up. See what I'm saying? Like, if your friends are like, that dude's ugly, and you, like, love the dude, that's fucked up. <laughs> like, this is super simple, you know? Like, huh? I've never really been one to develop personal relationships. I mean, you keep thinking that, don't stop. But I influence you? I feel like I'm actually really bad influence. You should not... Wait, who is this um, for? Well, I, I, I think I give good advice at times. But I don't think I should influence anyone. Caitlin, is that your confession? What's the lowest amount you're willing to get my ass for? Okay, define like eating That was ass. That was so... Lick, or is it like eating for a while? If it's one lick, 
I'll do it for... <laughs> I'd rather someone pay me to lick their asshole than to have sex with them. Because at least one lick is like... <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Lick oh. Guys, like, one lick, not eating. For like 100k. I understand. One lick. Sure. But that would never happen, so this is all hypothetical. Wait, no, no, I understand. <laughs> she, Do you have any thoughts she, on Kayla wouldn't let dating. How any random dude uh, have sex with her. Yeah, she'd no rather look at his asshole than have some random dude. Wait, have how sex. long is too long though dating chat? Because every person I've ever dated, after like the first month, like they're kind of obsessed with me. But I feel like they always are they love bombing me. I don't know. Do you have any thoughts on stage leading up to me, officially dating? Really how long, long should you be seeing someone in an exclusive? Me, a month is, no, a month what? is not too long. Dude, expectations like and boundaries, people. It's the last confessor. So expectations no sure. and boundaries, people. Like. Okay, I keep reading confessions like this. She was having a birthday party at her house, and I went to her room and just took a pair. Is that normal? No. Oh, is that normal? Obviously Those dudes are creeps. Is that common? For men to steal panties like that. I mean, Dilly did it to me, so I guess it. No, this dudes are crazy. It's like, what? There's no need to do no that. Here has ever Some done weak that. mental no. men. No one's ever done that. Oh my god. Bro, I was. Can I say this? I've been gifted panties. <laughs> like, if you're the dude, right? Aww, women will give you their fucking like, panties, the bro. That's a w. Like, but you're not that dude, guys. So, like, oh it's fuck, right. man. Those dudes are creeps because they're stealing I shit. Okay, let's not use the word cock here. I don't like that word. Um, okay. Has your dick ever bled from like jerking like, off? Like, if the dude much? respected you, he wouldn't Does steal from you. You feel me? Like human to human. No so the way, dude stole right? panties. He's a creep. But the fact he's stealing from you, he's not the one. He's a he's a shit dirtbag. Okay, I, 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 I can't go. I'm so shocked. I've seen some yeses in chat. Fifth round should probably stop yeah, soon. Yeah, go to the hospital, I think. My... Bro. This girl I met a few months oh, ago online that I like got a boyfriend in real life. Oh, she was a good friend of mine, but she pretty much played me. Okay. This is why I don't think the friend zone's real, right? She probably thought you were her friend. You literally wrote good friend of mine. That's why she got a boyfriend, because she's your friend, and she can go date whoever she wants, you know? I'm sure she did like you in a hey. platonic way. <laughs> The, the last yeah. professor Ooh, I, I <laughs> answered me, their I'm own sure. question. Fuck. Uh, thank you, John CS, by the way, for giving a sub. Thank you, thank you. Caitlin, what? Distracted. Oh, I love that. I met one of my closest friends here at Street. I'm really grateful for that. Yeah, I feel like uh, there's actually been a lot, a lot of friendships that have been made through my stream. It's very wholesome. I'm going to ask Chad. Have you guys ever made a friend from my stream? Like, for example, Yaga's community. Oh, it's Yaga's, right? But like, they kind of like you know, branched off from my stream originally. They're all like friends, you know? I did that, <laughs> I think, yeah? Oh, I see a lot of yeses though. If you wanna make friends, just, you know, you can try. I mean, Maude got a whole ass girlfriend from my stream, so. Well, we'll play Maude then, we'll play. Okay, if I never spoke, okay, obviously things I say give it away. If I never spoke, would you guys believe me if I was a virgin? Caitlyn! <laughs> I'd be like really religious, <laughs> you know? Why would you believe me? <laughs> I I look really innocent, no? I had definitely passed for a virgin. I for sure. I cannot say. I look ran through. Say. Wow. I, I, <laughs> oh, because I'm hot. Thank you. I guess. But I think I passed for a virgin. I'm really innocent. Actually. <laughs> the only. Cringe That's men and women that say ran through are what do you think are thirteen year, are thirteen year olds like, like what with like if a I with like a backhanded a a uh, I would have no strats no technique hi Amihan um a close friend of mine saw the girl I was talking to and I told my feelings for this girl and want to start something but he spoke with her so I stopped being friends with him so the right thing to do honestly yeah. Like, I'm really into loyalty, right? Even with friends. If I tell my friend, like, oh, I like this guy, and she hooks up with him, that's not my friend. Ooh, like, they really that's not a friend. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's not a friend. That's how I am. Yeah, it's <laughs> boy code, girl code, whatever. That's not a friend. You know, yeah, I, I think I would stop be friending. Be the friend. <sighs> <laughs> this is the shit I like to see. 
You may want to get a second job to spoil you more. Remember that 500k I mentioned earlier? If you work 24 hours a day, you can make the 100k, I think. So, you just get another what? job. Just be Go done. sell some pictures. Go what? pay for pay. Just there, if there's, be a lawyer. Oh, there's a way, right? I love this. <laughs> and he's making, uh, oh, like, 800 an hour. <laughs> just uh, be a lawyer. What does Discord DM mean? I recently did watch a movie with viewers in exchange for money, so... There's a price for everything. Like, tr like the money doesn't bring you happiness. Hundred dollar, no, uh, no, 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 no. Doctor K. Okay. Doctor K already talked about this. Like, and you can see it with Caitlyn. She, her, because she said five hundred K because she has two hundred fifty K. So she wants her partner two hundred fifty K. So if it's split, she feels like okay, it's an even life. But the money doesn't matter because you can see Caitlyn has two hundred fifty thousand dollars. But hey, guess what? That money doesn't bring her happiness. She is missing. Uh, uh, love in her life. She's missing a man in her life. She's missing a partner in her life that she could like be with. Uh, probably like cozy, snuggle, watch movies together because she brought it up before. She wants that close contact. Even though she said she doesn't like touch, she actually craves touch. That's what's so funny. But she doesn't want to admit it. But, yeah. Many people are just like, but I hate someone, like, you obviously care about them. There's no one that can bother me that much. So, cannot relate. Find other things to occupy your money with, I guess. How long should talking take be? Like, we have the same fucking questions. However long it feels like don't, it should be. Don't, don't, my don't, troublemaker don't, ex from California. Finish this. Get the laundry out by 2 a.m. She moved back to California. All of a sudden, oh, she went to my state. Now she has a house a minute away from me. Oh, my God. She would message me that she misses me. She was crazy. She comes to the grocery store workout. She's driving me out of my hometown. Oh. Yeah, I would get a restraining order, I think. Or I would move, if possible. No, I'd be terrified, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like I can't even answer this one, because, like, what can you do, you know? Restraining orders only do so much, because, like, they can still come in there, what? you know? What? It's, it's I mean, still... To come, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I would move, change my number. <laughs> it's just, like, still good to have a restraining yeah. order than to not to, you know? Like, <laughs> My long-distance boyfriend has been neglecting me. We haven't had a phone call for a week. And recently, I've been having semi-romantic dreams of Hassan. I mean, it's just a dream, you know? Who doesn't dream about men every now and then? I do, all the time. Not him, though, but other men, yeah. <laughs> How much money for no makeup pictures? Because we're a fan house sub, I already had them on there. So, yeah, your fault for not paying my $10 a month sub could have solved for free. Or for 10 a month. Uh, I'll sell you one for $100. Yeah. Just for DM me, I'll sell it to you. You know, yeah, fan house had them. This is like a long, fan house is like old, dude. I walked in my sister giving a head in the basement to a random guy. I freaked out at first, but after I was kind of turned on. What? I don't know how to express my feelings. What? Oh my god. I got a girlfriend but met another girl. I think I'm in love with her. Do I leave my girlfriend or do I forget the new girl? Once again, right? If you feel like you have feelings for someone new and you're I new with someone else, girl, and you obviously don't her, like but... who you're currently with because if you were into them, you would never even like feel that way about anyone else. So leave oh, a girlfriend right. and move on. Find someone new, I guess. So, the last one. Uh, what is your favorite go-to junk food? I don't really snack like that. I don't Did know. Caitlin like just say so it's the last confession, right? When I went to Colleen, I actually haven't even noticed. I guess. Is it that bad? I didn't hear. You never know, you should see push. That's like the garage scene. That sounds like a song. Is it Foxborough? I feel like once you have like a different Foxborough sounds like a song. Don't be just that person that you're friends with, you should drop them. Yes, you know. I think you friends with like Oops, my bad. She saw me. Right? Or uh 
Oh shit, right? Thank you. You as well. Thank you, thank you. I can't show you the scoreboard. Good luck, nice. I can't show you guys, sorry. Actually, I'll show you. I'm doing this. So cool. Good night, Ruben. Um, did you play any more comp games? After the fracture game? Oh, it's GQ here. Yeah, okay. We know GQ. I'm peeking. Bad guys. That's the only way to go. Uh... Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, I'm just playing. Too much running, so the enemy team could hear. Bro! Three short. Wait, why are we firing blind into a snow? Sort of enemy team knows you're all here. You can't continue A. It took too long to rotate. The enemy team's already set up on defense. Oh, man. That's true. Oh, my God. Dude. So, on defense, I think Colleen, she had the sniper. She could, but she just needs a little more patience because she has great aim. I think if she's also on defense, like that Nova, whatever they're doing. You know, but, uh, I come from the Air Force, a couple of number one military base, U.S. military is the best, I come from the number one military base, the U.S. military is the best, I come from the U.S. military's number one base, so when we're in combat, all of our gunfighting skills, never lost a firefight, I'm still here, but, but what, and what? Best times, life reunion, in the desert. I have my homeboy, he has his M24 sniper rifle, and we're crawling through the desert at night, and we're in these abandoned factories, and we're setting up our LPLP, your look at observation post, observatory, good times, man, and then killing giant fucking scorpions in the desert, and giant fucking gila lizards in the fucking desert, they're like these huge orange and black lizards, and these big ass translucent yellow looking fucking scorpions. Holy shit, my god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, people aren't ever afraid of uh, giant scorpions and big ass lizards. <laughs> Dude, my homeboy jumped out of the car one time. We were driving the desert. We saw one of the gila lizards. Like these big ass orange and black lizards. My homeboy jumped out of the car, went chasing after, threw off all his gear, went chasing after a gila lizard and like tackled it. I was like, dang. The love motherfuckers are so country. <laughs> so. Good times, man. Good times, bro. Those are the best of times. It was so weird, man, being on a Saddam Hussein's old base because we had like destroyed it. So like our whole our whole facility is a base. We built on the we built on an old Iraqi uh, old Iraqi base. That was fucking nuts. <laughs> this shit's fucking nuts. Like, after we destroyed Saddam's army, a lot of those other bases that the U.S. took over were the old no, Saddam Hussein bases. They just renamed them. Because you can see, like, the destroyed, the destroyed like, uh, hangars, destroyed bunkers, and buildings were just never rebuilt. That shit's fucking... That shit's nutty, bro. Let's do another fake but let's send two there this time. So that's and I always thought it was so weird, too. I kept thinking, like, why do we have these destroyed buildings? Because it was, they weren't our buildings. They didn't give a shit. Because we're, we're, on, we're on the military base, and I was like, why do we have all these fucking destroyed buildings everywhere? And they were like, well, this isn't a U.S. base. It used to be Saddam's base. And then we fucking destroyed it and then built our base on top of it. But we left his broken-ass buildings because it's just too much work to, like, fix any of these, you know, bombed-out buildings. But it's, to me, it was always creepy and weird that they left the bombed-out buildings in place. They're almost like, it's like putting, like, the stormtrooper troopers on a pike. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it kind of felt and looked like. Really creepy because we should have just bulldozed down those buildings and built out our facilities. But on our military base in the desert in Iraq, it was like uh, we kept like 20 year old destroyed buildings just like around us. Like it just didn't make any sense. Didn't make any sense man. Just saying, bro. Just saying, man. We know I think you're 
team is so good. Oh, cuz cuz they're back. Yeah, you're better off anyways. Oh my god. You remind me of Navy Bros that told me how they fucked a lady boy in Thailand. Oh no way, Jess. Kiss and have you make her not fool with anyone. Okay, I want- my Instagram comments are so yeah, insult and so rude, right? I get this comment all the time, it's not the insult you think it is. And that's how you see me, whatever. Huh? Life was hot. They're pushing it. But yeah. I actually- I read this shit all the time, so. Don't get- don't get one guy, Caitlyn. I found Instagram ten times more, so. I'm not even Thai. I think people don't know the difference between Thailand and Taiwan. Oh, that's so bad for my team. Good try, good try. It like shows me, um, more about you. You know what I mean? You got this on defense. Target, target, one guy. Yeah, I will do better on defense. Don't you worry. Been dating this girl for 15 months, and I'm still in love with my ex. And there he goes. I would leave my ex if another team. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is like my biggest fear, I'm not gonna lie. No, don't be sorry, you're all good. Can you just break up with this girl? 15 months is crazy, too. That's like... Good, and you've been holding pretty good. Oh, because oh, she's like zero six. Like when you went from Oh my god, that was on the first round. Let her don't waste her time, you know. Like <laughs> yeah, but still round. you're still doing good plays. You know? It's just small hiccups here and there. Dude. I can't I, can't. I know that guy. <laughs> I inherit a lot of I know that voice now. It's that one dude. Oh my god, you're so lucky. Um I mean, Colleen is saying yeah, she's so really lucky like because she has. No, I'm not sure if I should tell her. I'm not gonna Me. Lie. If I had this amount of money, on her channel, but she also has another dude. Right. He's also a light skinned brother. That's why Kate. That's why Kate looks so lucky. I would not tell anyone. I wouldn't tell friends to be honest. This is a red report problem. I wouldn't tell them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kaylin said that because Colleen has me. And another brother, another uh, light skinned brother who looks just like me, so that's what Kaylin is jealous. Your lifestyle is different. Like, you want to stay home, she wants to go out. I guess something for that reason. Save home, and she wants to go out. Bro, what? What? Yeah. Just dump her then, I guess. I hate Killjoy. I'm 23. Get him, get him! Am I a victim? Oh, nice shot. No. What? I want to say yes because even though you are a consenting adult, right? The power imbalance is so huge. No? They're probably just having some slight internet troubles. I feel like they'll come back and cook like they did last time. Okay, I think victim is a very. Does she have a teammate AFK? Mm. Oh, gym bug. Disconnected. Uh, report the player that. Huh? Because I've been like on the younger side, so I know how it is. You've dated all. So I just think, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I'm a military member. I received head from a Twitter e girl, and I'm scared about STDs. You did the military, them? so the chances of receiving STDs on both sides are equal. Next question. Well, okay, this is also annoying. I'm sure this is troll, but if you think they'll give you STDs, then why even do it in the first place? Hmm? Yeah, everyone should get tested regardless, okay? Get, get tested, yeah. <laughs> Any hobbies, I don't have any. Streaming is my hobby. Oh, okay, thanks, Robin. Alright, alright, alright. Brandon, we're gonna... Is this the same person, or what? <laughs> is it true to me, boyfriend, girlfriend, after a month of talking, or even two months? Like I said, uh, when the time... If it feels right to you, there is no wrong or right time, okay? Timelines are for everyone. Whatever feels right to you, there is no answer to it. Yeah, I think one month. Do 
Is it bad that I like someone who already has a boyfriend? It's not his fault, you know? Yeah, let's say. Oh, dude, yikes. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is it too soon to be a boyfriend or girlfriend if they're not talking? What? Uh, no, if they've gone, if... The last... Um, if... I'm like dead that out, so... You should, uh, figure out what that relationship is. <laughs> They have gone on six sets of dates. They should figure out what their relationship is. Um, you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, like, I totally agree. I agree. But then someone always commented, like, oh, 